What is up guys and girls and welcome to Talk of the Tyne, the era after Shearer. Take it away big man. He's gone. He's actually gone. Michael Owen has actually gone. He's gone to Leon. He's gone for 18.92 million. 18.92 million. 19 million. We'll call it 19 million. It's a bit short for someone who's, you know, 20 finishing and all that, but we've got rid of him finally, and it is. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. The issue we've got. Is strikers now, isn't it? Because as as you know, we're, we're having a bit of an injury crisis with strikers. So luckily for us, we do have Rossi, who somehow is European golden boy. Absolutely unreal. What has he scored there? Nine, uh, thirteen goals in nineteen appearances. Sorry, I'm using the picture from the other screen. I can't really see it properly. Not bad going. Not bad going. He is only on loan, but he is also the young player of the month. Because he's that good. So Giuseppe Rossi, there he is. Quality. Absolute beauty. 19 year old. He's valued at 2.4 million. So let's put a cheeky bid in for him, shall we? 2.4 million. Let's do it. 65 million they want. 65 million. And 40% of the next sale. Now, we could probably get that down a little bit. We're not going to be doing that anytime soon because we don't have the money. We've literally got no money uh, at the minute. Our finances are not great. They're not terrible. We've got secure finances, but we haven't been taken over by the Saudis just yet. Um, so we've got two million in the in the transfer budget, and we've got a mil we're, we're, we're spending under our uh, under our wage budget as well. So it's not too bad. We've, we're ten ten million in debt by all accounts, but you know I think that's just net debt there. Um, we have sort of played around with the staff a little bit. We've brought in some more staff. We need to bring in, um, we need to up these antes. Um, but we, I think it's more, like, if you look at the scouts, if you look at Brian King, you know, he's not bad. He's not bad. Um, we can do better, but the issue is we haven't got the money in the uh, scouting wage budget for better scouts at the moment. So we are going to be doing the the staff we're going to be building up the staff as we go but at the minute it's a bit tough so i've i've literally just brought in um three new physios and sacked the rest of our physios one he's 20 he's 20 he's our head physio by the way he's 20 he's 20 so all our physios are three i mean we can get another physio in but we can't really afford anyone at the minute so once we get another one in, but even then we're still only average. We're still only only fourth in the Premier League, um, so we do need to get some more money in, and we will build build be getting more scouts, more coaches, and more physios as the series goes on. But that's where we're at at the moment, league wise. This is where we're at. Um, so we've got the first knockout round, first leg against PSV. Still, we haven't played that just yet. That's going to be our next live com, I believe. I'm not hundred percent. The second leg of that's going to be our, our next live com even. And as for today, I did say we were going to play Sheffield United as our uh, live com, but things have changed. Only because, obviously, we've got Watford in the fourth round, so this is now going to be our live com. We've played the Sheffield United game. Let's go and check out how we've got on in our previous game so far via the highlights. Sheffield United travelled to St James's Park only for a first half brace from in-form Loney just happy Rossi to give Newcastle all three points, sending the Blades home empty-handed.
Newcastle's trip to Ewood Park started off in the worst possible way as Benny McCarthy scored for the Rovers just before half time. On loan striker Rossi saved the day again two minutes before time to spare the Magpies blushes. Newcastle went away to the blue side of Manchester. Scoring was opened by who else but Rossi who stepped up to score a 73rd minute penalty before the Magpies finally succumbed to a defeat after two goals from Distin and Reguero. The Magpies kicked off their FA Cup campaign against Carlisle at Brunton Park. The difference in the two sides proved too much for the home side, as both Ryan and Stephen Taylor scored either side of half-time to see the Magpies through to round four. Cheltenham Athletic visited St James's Park and in a game that saw both team strikers having an off day, a 0-0 draw was the result and no side would have been happy with their performance. In the game Newcastle United would have been looking to get back on track in, Aston Villa came to town and scored two goals in the first 25 minutes of the game, courtesy of Milan Barros and Stephen Davis piling the pressure on manager Kylex Plays. Schneider pulled one back on the half hour mark, but the rest of the game was seen out without another goal.
Newcastle United and Sheffield United met for the second time in a month, this time at Bramall Lane, but the score finished the same as the last game after man of the moment Rossi put away a penalty and Scott Parker smashed home his effort from outside the box. Newcastle pick up their first league win in five matches and conveniently their last league win was the last time these two sides met. Well, I was going to see you at St. James's Park for our game against Watford, but we have signed a new player. We bought in Martin Skirtle for £7.5 million. Pounds. Um, it's £5 million pounds to start with. And, you know, eventually it could... It, it, well, it will. It will. Right? It's a £7.5 7 million. Um, but it's £5 million to start with. And that's not he's not a bad little uh, looking player. We obviously know him from Liverpool. He is only 22 years old here. And I think he'll slot nicely in the centre um, of defence. Um, so th yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get him in, involved as soon as. And in fact, we might even play him now against Watford. So I'll see you at the stadium. Okay, guys. So welcome to St James's Park. We are here for the uh, fourth round of the FA Cup, and we are at home to Watford. We have managed to get Martin Skirtle in the first team. We've uh, put him in the place of Friedrich. Um, who is a player we've brought in. Unfortunately, he's been dropped down. He might get his place back. We just need to see how Skirtle performs. Um, so it's the it's the, it's the the cup. So we we can alternate him in the league if he's not very good. Um, so we've got this new formation that we're trying out as well, 4-3-3. Um, we've not really played it all season. We played it in the last game against Stoke. And it, come out, it, it did all right. It did all right. So this is what we're going to be going with for now. Um, and we, we're going with a positive uh, approach. So we've got Giuseppe Rossi in um, up top um, with his 15 goals. We've got Quincy, Drag Dagberto, Emre, Snyder and Scott Parker in midfield. Signorino, Skirtle, Stephen Taylor and Ryan Taylor in defence. And Shea Given um, in goal. We've got Steve Harper, Peter Ramage, Friedrich, Milner, Regal, Dyer and Finnegan. All on the bench. So let's go and see how we can get on against Watford. Right, let's go assertive. And I'm going to say I expect nothing but a win from this match. I'm not sure how that goes down generally with them. But that's that's what I'm going with. Um, so, yeah. We have got the first highlight by the looks of it. Parker's running the whole length of the pitch. He's still got the ball. But he can't put it past the goalkeeper. Ashley Young into King. McNamee. McMahon, good block there, and we've given what for the corner. Ashley Young's picked up a booking. Emre gets it across to Dagbarto, outside to Taylor, into Emre. Emre hits one. Signorino into Quincy. Quincy hits the post in the first attempt, but gets the rebound in the back of the net for his first goal of the season. What a finish from about three yards out. Great work for Rossi for picking that ball up there. How would you hit the post from there, to be fair? <laughs> Goalkeeper should have been quicker to that. But it's 1-0. Little under 10 minutes gone. Oh, Quincy went for his second. He's feeling confident now. Great stop, though. He's on fire. Second goal of the season for Quincy. I'm only playing him there because we've got no strikers. Shola's back soon. So I think maybe he knows Shola's back soon. Maybe that's why he's starting to score goals. So Shola's back. I think he's back in training tomorrow. We've still got two weeks or so before um, Oberfemi Martins is back. But Quincy is loving life at the minute on an 8.5. Repping it. Not much going on. Oh, that's why. It looks like they're trying to waste time and run the clock down. Nice ones, Watford. Stephen Taylor got on the end of that, but he couldn't keep it down. Oh, 
Let's give them a get creative shout. Signorino up to Ryan Taylor on the right side of the pitch. Parker, Dagberto back to Parker. Parker can hit him from there and he did. But it was a great save there that kept it 2-0. Emre, Dagberto. Foster held that well. They're not having the best of time, are they? Oh, Watford. One shot, one on target so far. Signorino, Schneider. Emre, Schneider again. Gets it into Dagberto. Dagberto stopped right at the last minute before he could shoot. Oh, my God. He was, McMahon was robbed there. Signorino, Schneider, Skirtle. It's the first time I've seen him in this. Parker gets it out. I think it was actually tackled, so we've got a throw in. Ryan Taylor's going to take. Back to Schneider, back to Taylor. Schneider again. Oh, he hits it. We're getting some venomous shots on target, but Ben Foster, obviously the good, good keeper he is, is managing to keep him out, and Ryan Taylor's offside to put an end to that attack. Looks like we might be going in at half-time, 2-0 up, unless we can get something here. Emre, Parker, Schneider, Signorino, Emre again. Signorino, back to Emre, a little bit of trickery there. Parker. Gets it in the box. And Rossi, the man who just can't stop scoring at the minute, gets his 16th of the season. What an assist by Scott Parker. What a finish by Rossi. And it's going to be 3-0 we're going in at half-time. That makes me a happy Kylex. And the sports boards say, hashtag made of winners. King looked to get it in the middle of the pitch, but it was smashed out. Dagberto looking for one last attack in this half, but it gets put out. Ryan Taylor. Snyder. And Ray to Dagberto. Oh, and Dagbato gets his first goal of the season. It's a rout here. It's an absolute rout. Dagbato, all of our strikers have scored. Dagbato, Quincy's got two. And obviously Rossi cannot help but get on the score sheet. I think we've found our formation. This seems to be a pretty... Good formation for the team we've got at the moment. Half time, let's go into the dressing room. And I think we're going to be passionate. I'm very happy with the way things are going, lads. Keep it up. And we've not conceded yet, so we've got nothing to blame Skirtle for. They've gone with one up front, so they're going ultra defensive. I mean, is it worth that? If you're already knocked out of the cup at 4-0, you've, you've got to go for it, haven't you? Put six up top. Signorino. And it's out for a corner. And again. Goal kick. Foster kicks out. Ma Mahon. Mahon. Mahon? Is that how you say that? Mahon. Skirtle's on a 7.1, so he's not having the best game in the world, but he's not really done anything wrong either, so you can't blame him. <clears throat> he's the worst rated uh, defender we've got at the minute on the pitch, but we've not conceded, so I'm not going to complain. Signorino, and it's his first game for the club as well, so you've got to take that into account. Oh, Dagbite went for his second. Not seen much of Quincy since he, he had that little streaky. He wanted to take a couple of shots. 
And now he's stopped a little bit. Rossi. Out to Ryan Taylor. Parker. Emre. Oh my God. What a finish from Emre. Third goal of the season. He doesn't score often. But when he does, they're absolute screamers. Ryan Taylor to Parker. Watch her. This. Parker. Turns. Back to Emre. Boom. City. Absolutely beast mode. Can hear the chants of the crowd singing, can we play you every week, Watford? Newcastle on the attack again. Signorino gets it through to Rossi somehow. Signorino again. Back to Snyder. Parker, what fancies a long shot. But it gets stopped nicely by uh, Ben Foster there. Well defended. Got a goal kick. So it wasn't really defended that well, was it? Ben Foster with a big kick forward. Gallagher picks it up. <laughs> and right. Signorino. Parker. Signorino again. Looks to get it in, but it's put out for a corner. Ryan Taylor hits it. Steven Taylor picks it up. Skirtle. Very attacking position from Skirtle there. Not sure I'm happy with him being that far forward. <clears throat> Rossi's on. Through on goal, but he just couldn't get enough on it. He's having a bit of an off day today, I feel. He usually gets at least two. Okay. Let's put Finnegan on for Rossi. Rossi's looking a bit tired. I was going to say, he must be looking a bit, he must be feeling tired because he's not having the best game of his life. He deserves a break. He's done absolutely outstanding work for us this season. Hopefully, we can find a way of keeping him next season because he's actually really, really good. <clears throat> I rated him when he was actually at Newcastle, but he didn't really have that good a spell in real life. Finnegan. I mean, I thought we'd given it away then. Ryan Taylor. Inside. Schneider. Ryan Taylor whips it in. Oh, he's offside. Okay. Doily, Demerit, back to the keeper, Vega, McNamee, looking a bit more um, with an in attacking intent now, let's just close uh, that one off, Quincy, back in the, back in the zone, but he's not, he's not found them heights he did in the first sort of 15 minutes to be fair, Now we're talking, look at that defence, all above eight. Skirtle's on an eight. Schneider gets it forward. Quincy was taken out there, surely that's got to be a... No, and he's given a corner away, weirdly. Ryan Taylor whips one in. Dagberto's there to pick it up. Stephen Taylor out, that was disgusting. That was disgusting. Right, okay, let's uh, sub Emre off. He's looking a bit tired. Kieran Dyer can come on for a bit. Snyder's making waves. Scott Parker. Can we get six? Signorino. Schneider. Parker. Signorino again. Hits the first man. I don't know if it's me, but I'm very unhappy with the uh, crossing. I've never seen a good cross in... in a, well, I have seen it, obviously, but not very often. Normally, I'd say probably... Six six out of ten times, the defender blocks every cross. Given. Staler. 
R. Taylor. Dagberto. Oh, Venomous. Parker. Schneider. Steven Taylor. Dyer. Dyer's first bit of a uh, game. And Dagbato puts it straight at the player in front of him for a corner. Ryan Taylor whips it in. And it looks like this could be the final score. 5-0. Shea Gibbons looking in, uninterested, and you can't blame him. He's he's just a bit like, Meh. you know, you're gonna actually get get some shots off at us, boys. And that's it. That's a wrap. It's five nil. So let's go and give the guys some absolute passion, um, and the way you played. Well done, guys. Look at that. Greens all round. Everyone's happy. Right. So we're gonna find out who we've got in the fifth round of the FA Cup before we go. I'll see you at the draw. Okay guys, so I thought we could watch the draw together. So this is the fifth round of the FA Cup and in it we have a fair few teams. Preferably we want a lower league team, don't we? We want an easy run. Um, hopefully there'll be some upsets before we get a big team. That's personally what I would rather. But yeah, let's see how we get. Um, so, we want an automatic draw. Let's sit back and watch how it goes. Leeds. That would be an interesting one. Burns, Barnsley or Stoke. Okay. Newcastle. Here we go. South End. We'll take that. Who have we got? We're going to have got Tottenham. Arsenal. Oh, someone's got to go out. Someone's got to go. Two teams have got to go out. Portsmouth versus Mills Royal Wolves, Derby, Ipswich or Coventry, Mill or Sheffield United versus Liverpool, Aston Villa versus Blackburn. So this is the game to watch because Chelsea or Man United have got to go through and one of them two have to play Arsenal. So that's three, that's potentially, that's two big teams knocked out straight away. This could be a good year for Newcastle. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.